Hey everyone, welcome to Wax Pack Wisdom, where we talk football history through card breaks and the cards we love. My name is Jake T. O'Donnell. Today, we're opening this pack of Collector's Edge 92 Football Rookie Update. Uh, so let's see what we got here. Uh, individual serial numbers, only 100,000 cards per player, tough plastic stock, won't tear or fray, six players per pack. So I don't know who to expect from this. I'm not sure what we're gonna find. It's a foil pack, which is always a challenge for me to open. And uh, let's see what we get uh, with these tough cards. Uh, all right, so the first player is Alonzo Spellman. Uh, and it, what's interesting is, is definitely, these are different type of cards. They're f very flexible unlike your sort of normal cardboard. But anyway, um, this is the, the Collector's Edge update. So there's Alonzo Spellman, who is a defensive end for the Chicago Bears at this point. And uh, my recollection is he had a pretty good career in the NFL. The next guy here, I know for a fact, had a really good career in the NFL. And that was Carl Pickens, who spent many, many years with the Cincinnati Bengals. I remember him uh, well from my time when I first started watching football in the late 90s. He caught a lot of balls from guys like Boomer Esiason and other quarterbacks that the Bengals had. Um, following their, their time going to the Super Bowl with Boomer Esiason as their quarterback, uh, it was not a great era for the Bengals through the rest of the 90s and into the early 2000s. Anybody else remember Akili Smith? I remember Akili Smith. Uh, but Carl Pickens was uh, was a was a really excellent receiver. He could he could pick him, as they say. All right, Courtney Hawkins was a wide receiver kick returner for the uh, for the uh, Buccaneers, and I uh, really love those uniforms for the Buccaneers at this point. So that's a, that's a good that's a good one. Um, Clayton Holmes is next. Uh, a rookie cornerback for the Dallas Cowboys who were entering their sort of elite era at this point in uh, 1992. Um, just an excellent player and uh, an excellent, and I'm not sure, actually, I, I can't really say that if, if he was an excellent player or not, but he was an excellent, um, this was an excellent era for the Cowboys, that is for sure. Next, here's something kind of annoying. <laughs> if you are somebody who gets a pack of cards. There's a, And there's only six cards in it, or whatever however many there are. Yeah, there's only six cards in it. Here's another Alonzo Spellman card. So we have the market cornered on Alonzo Spellman rookie cards from 1992 NFL Collector's Edge, in case you're wondering. Um, next up is Chris Hinton, tackle for the, uh, for the uh, Atlanta Falcons. So anyway... That's actually it for the cards in this pack. We're going to put uh, Carl Pickens back up here. This is really interesting, but again, like I said, these cards are very bendy. They have they have said, they said on this, let me read the foil pack here again. It says, tough plastic stock won't tear or fray. I would like to test that theory, but I don't really want to. I don't like to tear or rip cards apart, but it's really, uh, it is really interesting, the uh, the bendability of these cards. And the fact that they are, uh, they're supposed to be tough like NFL players, I'm guessing. Um, it kind of has the consistency of like a, of like a, f a very thin fridge magnet. But anyway, that is, uh, that's Carl Pickens. That is a pack of 1992 Collector's Edge Rookie Update. And that's going to do it for this edition of Wax Pack Wisdom. Tell us what you thought of this break. Uh, what's your favorite card we pulled today? Do you have a story about one of the players in this pack? Leave us a comment and let us know. We'd love to hear it. If you enjoyed this video, we invite you to give it a like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our Wax Pack Wisdom content. In the video description, you can find links to where you can follow Wax Pack Wisdom on all social media channels. You'll also find a link to a list of our favorite nonprofits and charities. If you enjoyed this video, please consider a donation to one of those organizations. It would mean a lot to us. Thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you next time on Wax Pack Wisdom. Take care.